All right. Like I was saying, if you if you call yourself a person that's just or a better a Christian, you should be in the same spirit as Lot. Because he was just, all right? And it said in the scripture, say he was vexed, troubled, all right? Annoyed, all right? By the filthy, uh, 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 perverted, abominable manner of conduct, lifestyle, and behavior of them sodomites, all right? And you should be in that same spirit if you call yourself a Christian here in America. Because that's all you see around here in America. A bunch of sodomites, man. Second Peter's chapter 2, verse 8. For the righteous man dwelling among them and seeing and hearing the and dwelling among them and seeing and hearing makes his righteous soul pay from day with their unlawful deeds. Day by day. It wasn't like, oh well, this is this is something we just do with the cameras on, you know. You know, we 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 vent and we get all upset and stuff when the camera No, we vex every day. Cause anytime you turn on your television, they, they push that on you. Every every commercial, almost, every every uh television show now or movie now is endorsing Sodom and, and just shoving it in your in your face, man. Okay? And that's an abomination. So if you got a problem with it, yeah, you know, if you if you against that because you with the Lord, then you got they got a problem with you. All right, he said he was vexed day by day with their unlawful deeds, and that's unlawful, man, and that's an abomination, and that's a that's a state of a reprobate. America is a country of full of reprobates. Men and women, all right? And now children, because they pervert in the minds of children now, of people avoid of, of judgment, understanding, and righteousness, man. America's the land of, a, of reprobates, man. Okay? If you justifying and saying, and you pro sodomy, you are a reprobate to the max. Okay? Can you read it? The Lord knoweth how to deliver the godly out of temptation and to reserve the unjust unto the day of judgment to be punished. To be punished. And that's what's going to happen. They're going to be punished in the same fashion and like manner of Sodom and Gomorrah, all right? But, but in the form of these ICBM thermonuclear missiles being shot by these other nations. That's why I said in Isaiah 9 and 5 that this war should be with fuel and, and fire, okay? Fuel and fire. And that fuel and that fire is gonna be generated by the missiles. So you people in America keep 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 being perverted. Keep being abominations and see what the Lord do to you. He's gonna light you up like he did them sodomites. Alright? That you read it. Go back, go to Genesis 19. Start at the top. We'll start at get Genesis 13, 13, and then go to Genesis 19. Alright? Before we go to the account of the destruction of Sodom and Gomorrah, all right, we're going to get the account of what the scriptures say the people was like in Sodom and Gomorrah. Okay? Uh, Genesis chapter 13, verse 13. But the men of Sodom were wicked men, I mean wicked, and sinners before the Lord exceedingly. 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 They said they were wicked and sinners. What is sin? Get that real quick. First John 3 and 4. And then after you read verse 4, hop to 8. First John chapter 3, verse 4. Whosoever committeth sin transgress also the law. For sin is the transgression of the law. Uh-huh. Jump down to what? To verse 8. He that committeth sin. It's of the devil. Ah. Uh -huh. For the devil sinned of from the beginning. For this purpose of the Son of the Most High was manifest, that he might destroy the works of the devil. That's right. So he's gonna destroy the works of the devil. Who's in power right now is the devil. 
All right, the word devil comes from the uh, Latin word diablos, all right, which means deceiver. Who's the top deceiver on the planet? It's the so-called white man. He has deceived the minds of the people, mainly here in, in the United States, you Negroes, you Latinos, you Native Americans, have deceived you to the point that you think this man is righteous, pure, and just. Well, he's the complete opposite. And, 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 the, and the ways of America shows you that he's unjust, perverted, and he's a devil. All right? And let me say this, you, you, you Irish, you Sicilians, all right, you Scottish, all right, and any of you other uh, jakes that go back to Moorish descent that can pass for these Caucasians or these heathens, you better separate yourself from them, man. All right? Because when, when, when judgment come down on these Caucasians, it's going to be horrific. All right? And them Irish, the Scottish, the Sicilians, certain Italians down there in the southern part of uh, Italy, those are Israelites. They go back to the Negroes. Well, I'm not, I'm not Christian. All right. What are you? Uh, I grew up Jewish, but I'm an atheist right now. You're an atheist? An atheist. All right. Well, you know what? You're fulfilling prophecy. You know that. What's, what's, my, what's my part of the prophecy? Get uh, Psalms 14 and 1. What's, what's that? Is it about atheism? Yes. Cool. Yeah, let's hear it. Psalms! What's the Jewish star for? This is Shield of David. Shield of David. Are you a, are you a knight of David or what's what's why you I'm a, why you gonna, you gonna read this real quick? Yeah. Psalm chapter fourteen verse one. The fool has said in his heart, there there is no God. They so, are <laughs> they are corrupt. They have done abominable works. There is none that doeth good. Yeah, that's the state of America. You just you're just being honest. I'm honest, yeah. Yeah, you're saying you're atheist, yeah. that's the state of America, yeah. Oh, totally, yeah. Most, I mean, a lot of Americans are secular and don't believe in stuff. Or they go to church and don't believe, even if they have to, you know. Yeah. I don't go to church. I mean, I'm just, I don't need to do it, because I know that I don't think that way anymore. Yeah. Um, well, churches... I got my own personal beliefs. They're not... Scriptural? No, they're like personal spiritual stuff, like, in tune with certain things, but not... But um, I don't go by religious. I don't. I think that my own personal beliefs are different than the most religions that are described. That they sit you down and read your books about. But, okay. Yeah, that's all. Uh, thanks for reading me about atheism. I actually feel exactly what you said. <laughs> Word. Yeah. All right, man. Day. Yeah. All right. So. so even you atheists, you people that has professed atheism, you're fulfilling prophecy. And you know what, King David, he wrote that. And he prophesied that there would be people that's atheists. You can read that again, just for edification of the camera. <laughs> he probably didn't know that. And you know what? And he was right. These churches, they ain't teaching about the Bible. Even though he don't believe in God, he, he was saying some stuff that was on point. He said what? That I don't believe in, in, in the Bible thanks to what? The church. He said because of the churches. And you know what? The truth is not in those churches. That's Jeremiah 7 and 4. Psalm chapter 14, verse 1. The fool has said in his heart, there is no God. Uh -huh. They are corrupt. They have done abominable works. There is none that doeth good. That's right. And that's the state of America. All right? And it was funny. I did a lesson on that, and, and it, it got the page flag. About atheists. About how America is a, a, a nation of atheists. And, and the worst of you is you damn churchgoers, you a bunch of hypocrites. Wow, they turned down the wrong way. Yeah, go to, uh, yeah. Uh, nah, read, read, uh, Genesis 13, 13 again, and then go to Genesis 19. Yeah. So we reverting what the state of, of, the, of the world is going to be, or this particular time prior to the Lord coming, all right? is that he gave you a similar to, he said like in the days of Lot, before the destruction. It said that the people of Sodom and Gomorrah were, uh, we about to read it. Genesis chapter 13, verse 13. But the men of Sodom were wicked and sinful before the Lord exceedingly. Exceedingly. Now the Lord told you, get that in Matthews uh, 24, 11 and 12. He told you 
prior to his come, you're going to have a bunch of false prophets rise up, deceiving many. And through these false prophets,